This is a cat. This is a rug. This is what happens when a cat is on a rug for months. It happens. As you know, I came across a product that works wonders, but does it stand a chance against what I feel may benefit for people like me who have lower back problems? Let's find out. Before I begin, let's do a quick recap on the Uproot product. In order for it to really pick up the fur, it uses these small metal teeth like rods. And yes, it picks up more fur than any other product that I've used in the past. The downside is, it doesn't work well on all products. As I've mentioned in previous videos, knitted material will get damaged. So please, don't even try it. If you want, I did try a product from another company named Molly Paws that uses the silicone material instead of metal that works on delicate material. However, it still doesn't do a deep clean as the uproot can, but it's better than nothing. Same with certain carpets and rugs. They may not work either depending on the type you get, as it will pick up the lint and sometimes the carpet itself, which over time damages the carpet. So if you want to try Molly Paws's brand, I will leave a link below to purchase their item. They say that you could use Uproot for clothes, but I haven't really tried it and I'm a little leery about it. So instead, I'm trying another product that they have where they are now selling dryer sheets that are specially made to ward off pet hair from your clothes. As we speak, I'm going to test this out for at least two months and see if what they say is true versus other brands that I've used in the past. So stay tuned for a video update on that. Back to the review, let me introduce Uproot's latest project the Uproot Cleaner Extra. The good thing about this is that I don't have to be on my knees so much, unlike the original product. Now, once again, I'll be using my rug for this as it's my cat's favorite spot to chill. I'm doing the ultimate challenge as the rug has been covered in fur for almost six months. Why you ask? Because I need to know if this can do its job. Like before, I have divided the rug. On the left side is the Uproot Cleaner Extra. On the right side, we'll be using the original Uproot. With the contestants in place, it's time for this experiment to start. With the end results, like normal, it's a lot of work. And from a distance, it looks fantastic. It almost looks new. And even up close, for six months of not touching this thing, it's pretty much still doing its job, even though there might be some minor uh, furs left over. 
Now it's time to test out the Uproot Cleaner Extra. Not gonna lie, this was a lot more work. In the end, I ended up just unscrewing the top and using the brush itself and went back down on my knees to continue the rest. you can tell that there is a big difference between the two. There's still patches of um, fur left over. I even went and used the uproot and started um, scraping off whatever was left over that the cleaner extra didn't pick up. Comparing the results, it looks like the uproot cleaner extra still picked up a lot more fur than the original product. But then looking over by the uproot, it looks like it picked up less, but it did a lot more thorough cleaning than the cleaner extra. And even then, I also forgot to do one more thing. There's still a line that has to be cleaned up. Taking a closer look at the uproots, it seems that the original, as you can see, the metal combs are a lot closer in regards to space versus this. So I'm wondering to myself if the closer the bar, the easier to pick up lint or fur is the better deal. Because to be honest with you, I, I really had difficulty uh, combing this. I love the fact that I can, you know, scrape and that I'm not having to worry about my back. The downside is one side worked better than the other. This side worked a lot better than this end. And I don't know if it's uh, based on angles because I angled them, I did 90 degrees, I did 45 degrees. And still this end picked up the fur a lot better than this end, even though, and I quote, please make sure to try both sides to find the optimal side. So yeah, to find the optimal side. So to me, the one without the sticker is the optimal side. But the fact is with this uproot, both sides are optimal in my standpoint. Whereas this one 
this one, only one side is, and that to me is not effective. And again, that's me personally. Um, if Uproot was to contact me and tell me otherwise, I would really like to know any tips and tricks. But like I said, I would like a, a device that where both ends are more effective than just one side because while brushing through that, this took a lot more time and effort and still did not pick up as much fur as this did. So again, this is the winner. Now I am thinking about getting a bigger version of this. I know I've been stalling about it because I really wanted to see if this was going to be the beat all and stuff because I figured, you know, bigger is better. But if this outbeats that, I'm a little curious to see what a more wider version of this will do. Will it pick up more fur than this uproot does? Or is it gonna be just as ineffective where only one side works versus the other? So let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. Leave a comment below. Have you, do you have this product? Do you think it's a lot more effective than the original Uproot tool? Or did you find a better method to get this uh, working than I did? I would really like to know. And if you enjoy this video and find this very educational and informative, please like, subscribe, and share, and let other people know if this is a better product than all fur cleaning uh, products out there. Until next time, guys, this is Naisha, and I'm just an average girl. Stay tuned.